I really hope that you stumbled upon this video because you haven't looked for your survey pins yet. And I hope that you are one of those lucky people that actually find them pretty fast. And I really hope that you're not in that camp of people that have problems finding their survey pins like we did. We're going to go through different methods that you can use to find your survey pins and hopefully make this a much simpler process for you. So when we bought this property, it had a survey that was three years old. We didn't get a new one. Not a big deal. Whatever. It was such a big deal. <laughs> we were going to look at installing a fence on um, one of the property lines that didn't have one. And so we go to get the survey to really kind of figure out where these corners are. <sighs> it was not so simple. We could not find one of the pins. There are five on our property and that one was a pain in the behind. But through this process, we discovered that you can use your boundary survey, compass, GPS coordinates, that was new, a metal detector, and more often than not for us, it was a combination of these things that got us where we needed to be. If you have any kind of drive to your property, I'm gonna recommend number one, pause this video, get a list and start writing down exactly what you need. And just assume that you're going to need all of them because we ended up taking five trips to do ours. Five trips for five pins. If only we had been that lucky and actually worked out that way. But the most important thing that you'll find from this is that doing your research at home will make this a lot smoother if you do run into any issues. So essentially, if you haven't seen one of these, they're basically an iron pin in the ground that sometimes will have like a little flag or something on the top of it, pink, orange, whatever. And when I say that it's sticking out of the ground, I mean like two inches, if it is. So all of these methods basically include you finding a pen and using your survey or your lat long from your GPS in order to know where to take your tape measure, right? So all of these methods require you to measure. So you're definitely going to need some sort of a measurement system that will span the length of your lines that you're looking for. Some of ours were long and short. We've got this little roller thing. Essentially, you find one pen, you take the method that you're going to use, and you measure the direction that it's telling you to measure. So number one, if it's obvious for the corners that you're property is go look for it right we actually found one that way just when we were out casually looking we found one it's almost a requirement before you can actually start looking for the others the other thing you can do is once you found that one you can use your survey and it actually tells you how far to go like how many feet your property lines are the next thing you can do is to use a compass because if you'll notice on your boundary survey it does have degrees and so you can use a compass to do that and <laughs> We actually bought a compass and brought it out here with us and then we discovered it's on our smartphones. We weren't feeling very smart. If you're using a compass, it's kind of the same thing. You're just gonna follow that number of feet with the degrees that the survey is telling you. We actually struggled with this. We found that they weren't accurate enough for how many feet we had to go. One of them was a thousand feet um, and that did make it problematic because it seemed like we were getting off track by the time we got there. But by the time we used this method, we were actually down to the last pin that was our problem one. So. It was a problem no matter what the method was. And another option is a GPS option. But what we found is that you'll actually need to do this at home. And the GPS option, a little simpler. You don't have to actually use the measurement tool. You would just literally go to that spot in your property, right? Using your navigation on your phone. We'll actually walk through that now to make that a little simpler to navigate. You want to go to, to your county's appraisal district website. And here I pulled up some random property in Grimes County. Each of the sites will look a little bit different. But essentially, you're looking for a map item to click on. It'll usually pop you into another tab. And each of these maps are going to look a little bit different. The red lines show boundaries for each property. And navigate towards the corners, and that's where your survey pins are going to be. If you notice in that bottom left, you've got coordinates. So as that mouse moves, those coordinates move, and you would just plug those into the map function of your smartphone to navigate to your survey pins. Let's look at another county. Again, another random one. This is in Walker County. It looks different. We're looking for a map. And here we have interactive map. Got another tab popped out here. And the map looks different. But you have the same features. You've got red borders for property boundaries. And that coordinate information in that bottom left is same place and doing the same thing as you move the mouse. So plug in at the corners the best you can into your smartphone and you've got pins. And then of course a metal detector. They actually were cheaper than I expected for a simple one but we were actually able to borrow one from a friend and to run through that I like to use the metal detector 
and fine metal with it, kind of hear what you're looking for. And with the metal detector, once you find where the pin's supposed to be, take the metal detector and kind of help you find it. If it's not sticking out obviously for you and you're just listening for the sound, uh, when you get close, hopefully you find it. So we actually found four of our five pins using a combination of all of these methods. And I'm about to share exactly why that didn't work for us despite the five trips that also involved a dog bite and a trip to town for medical care and all of that and a boatload of frustration. But at this point, if you've kind of gotten the information to get what you need, I'd like it if you gave it a like. So we didn't actually find all of our pins with these methods. And we're DIYers when we can be, but we ended up calling a guy to help find the last pin. And I'm so glad we did because it turns out that the pin had been removed at some point. It made us feel a little more uh, validated that we hadn't lost our mind, but it was still a frustration all the same. Live and learn and share with you. <laughs> so we're making this little slice of heaven ours as we get the time and money. If you're thinking about doing this or actually going through the methods to do the same thing, watch this video here.